Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Um, <sighs> I'm tired. Um, more than tired, I am PMSing and I'm tired. But I don't want to waste the day. It was rainy this morning, but the rain appears to have moved out, at least for a little while. But, I mean, rain doesn't stop nothing. It's not like it was a storm. Um, it's clear right now. It's still wet out, but it's clear. And I just want to... Ooh, my little bun getting big, even though this is not a bun. The other day, I had planned to do some sort of thrifting. And it's really not in my budget to do thrifting, but... I did sell my bike last last weekend, I think, and I sold something else. Anyway, I have some money in cash, like, I don't know how much in cash, like $50 in cash that I just be just have. So I figured my thrifting budget can be $50. I do have money in my Venmo account um, from the sale of my bike that I could also put towards purchases, but... I'm trying to think of the best ways to maximize space in the bathroom, but I also want to put like a permanent mirror on the inside of my door because when I wash my face, you know, like when you're like the mirror is in front of the sink, right? I like to be all up on my face when I'm washing it. So that's why I have like a mirror in the shower for when I wash my face in the shower and stuff. And I also have, well, I have one mirror on like the back side of my door, which I think I need to get another mirror for this side of my door. Like I want mirrors on both sides, but anyway, I want to be this far away from the mirror when I'm washing my face. I found this bag in my closet. I bought it from Goodwill. I think I priced it at maybe 100 to a 150 or something i can't remember but i know i got it for like under nine dollars or maybe even seven but i'm selling it on marketplace for 50 so <laughs> yeah it's a good bag but i just never didn't just like do it for me easy fifty dollars just made fifty dollars so like i wasn't using the purse but it did get a lot of attention i listed the purse yesterday so now i'm just like did I love all myself? But it really don't matter because I didn't plan to be a reseller. I wonder if she gonna be a reseller. So now that I look at this window, like I want, I know it's not a lot of space, but I would like to do some type of small shelving, if it, even if it's just floating shelves here and over there as well, just to increase space or just decor give that like a focal area i think i want white curtains for my bedroom i still have the curtains from my last place um but i don't know all right lou should be so happy with his brand new potty spot it's not eight months dead it's refreshed lively green so happy that grass is back in stock Y'all, I am so upset with my dog right now. And me and him had a little moment. And he want to... Basically, dogs forgive you so quick. This is how I know I'm not ready for kids because I'm still mad at him. I'm still mad at him for not wanting to take the medicine. Fighting me tooth and nail for medicine that's supposed to help you. Like, I'm literally trying to help you. And you're fighting me? Like, Stop. And literally still crying to get in my, my bedroom so he can see what I'm doing when I'm trying to get ready for work. How, like, I'm still mad at you. You wouldn't be all up a no. <laughs> I'm upset at you for acting how you did. This how... Mm -mm. I'm upset. And I, I want him to be upset too. And he's not... <laughs> Let me get out of here because, ooh, these animals. Then my hair didn't dry last night. I did wash my hair, though, and I did style it, but I figured a beret would save me today. I don't know, child. We're going to roll with it. We're going to roll with it. Okay, so here's the look. We did red lipstick, no makeup. I have eyeliner in my bag. I will put that on, but we have this houndstooth um cardigan and these flowy bottom pants 
that are high-waisted and this white turtleneck so this is it um this is the best i could do i usually would be more cat like i feel like this is cash but with the hat and the lipstick i gotta tie it together because the hair isn't doing it and so i am carrying my um base bag today but that's it that's all my coworker said it looks like i'm going to france i'll take it they said who is that lady thank you can you roll over Good boy. Can you do it again? One more time. <laughs> it was a little drunk, but I excuse the coats. Ugh. But here we are today. So I bought this jacket a couple years ago from Goodwill. It was like $10. And it had, it's a London fog trench coat, but it had like a blanket inside. But I recently took the blanket out and it's so much lighter and just casual to wear now. And I really, really like it. So super casual fit today. Literally got Sperry's on with socks. Um, my black pants are from Ross. I think, I don't know, this is super old, but it's like a crop sweater. There's a bodysuit under here that's long sleeve, but yeah, this is the fit. I like it with the jacket. Like it just, it just do something. It just look like bing, bing, bing. So this is what the hair end up looking like. Um, with all the the little bantu knots out. No makeup today. I I could do a little earring though, but we just got the trusted true. Maybe I will do an earring. I really like this little red lipstick. It's giving it's giving my auntie on channel. I don't know if I ever told y'all that I do this, but I like to label where stuff is. Not for guests coming and also for me too like i have a house that are come soon but i like to you know have a little list of where everything is and i bought this from amazon i think october 2022 and it's still going i haven't had to replace the paper or anything but it's a nimbot label printer and i just be printing look cups bows and plates so when i did move out of my old place i did have to like peel off all the stickers as well but I've already labeled pots and pans. Um, yeah, I got a label where like this one cabinet, this is where the dog food is. And so that's where the dog food, oh, here's one for dog treats because this one drawer is where dog treats are. I don't know why, I just need to have this. Where should I put it? So that one I put right there. Should I put this one on this side? Measuring cups. Okay, measuring cups. One is fragrance melts. Uh, I don't want it to be too much. Yeah, fragrance melts. Now, when you pull this out, like I need to get this out, but it's mostly all my fragrance stuff. Mitts. It's mostly measuring cups, all different types, mitts, pizza cutter, a little more other stuff. What corner? I'm put on this corner. Cause the drawer opens. Yeah, the drawer opens that way. This one is coffee pods and tea. It's coffee pods and tea. And this one is silverware. 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 There. And this one is like blender rolling pan. Maybe I need to put that one. I need to put my egg rings and my tea. Okay. We're going to put the egg rings and the cheese grater in here. Okay, silverware. What this? Measuring cups, Tupperware, mixing bowls, fragrance, dog treats, dog food, pots and pans, okay? We got clean foil, clean wrap food storage bags, cups and bowls, cups and bowls, plates, plates, seasonings and spices. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Put this one side down, got one. It says tumblers, mixing bowls, blender cups. Tumblers, mixing bowls, blender cups. We got coffee pods and tea. I already showed y'all over here. Air fryer toaster. Air fryer toaster. If I ever show y'all my pot and pan organizer, check it out. Look at this. Cause I was, they was all stacked on top of each other. It was hard to organize. 
my other place had a place where I was like displaying my pots and pans, but that was like the only place for them really. But this is good. The pots and pans have their own area. They separate it. Which one you need? Like you got skillish, you got small boilers, big boy, and my little great little um like if I wanna make some pasta like we got it all. They are organized, got their own spot. Dog, baby dog got his own spot. The filter tool. So it is available in preparation menu filter. So click and drag and drop it here. You got these two options here. One is true and false. So here, first example, I have corrected the value. Okay. I'm very happy with my TV. It's a little high now, but it's cute. I can finally like just put stuff on top of here. I love it. The guy came and mounted it today. And he also did the one in my bedroom. Let me zoom out. It's right above my dresser. Yes. I wasn't sure if he was going to be able to do it because they're on the same wow uh, so why i just looked at uh the unit that looks like my unit um when i toured back in like beginning of february closet of that bedroom there was like two shelves two two layer shelves in the closet my closet only has the one you know or the one layer of shelving so is it is it too much if i request another shelf in my closet I just mean, come on now. I seen it in the other apartment. The other apartment that I wanted had two shelves. I mean, have I been here for over a month now? Yes. But hey, I, they, they replaced my washer and dryer because they knew what was up in here was rusty, crusty, dusty. So, what y'all think? Should I, should I say something? Should I say something? Well, I reached out to this company. What's up, pup pup? I reached out to this company. Honestly, I don't know if it was legit or not, but they're supposed to come and pick up some of the random stuff in my apartment. I tried to sell it. Now, granted, some stuff could have sold last weekend, but I didn't check my messages for like hours later and they were ready. Like, I'm 30 minutes away. Like, are we good? And I missed it. And when I contacted them again, like, oh, I'm so sorry, I missed your message. You know, I am still available. You know, yada, yada, yada. But... Yeah, so I just think I'm going to go ahead and uh, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and just give it to Goodwill or Salvation Army, like whatever, like just get this stuff because I I'm just tired of my place of people saying like they're interested but they never respond after respond. Like, yes, it's available. Like, they never respond. Like, why? Why wait till my time? Now, I've sold a lot of stuff on Marketplace, but some things are just harder to sell and they just take way too much time. And at this point, I'm comfortable enough with uh, the money that I have made for the items that I've sold. Um, I don't know how much I'll calculate. I know I, I've made way more than $500 or maybe even 600 yeah, I probably made close to six or seven hundred dollars. Could be more um, on the stuff that I have ended up selling for my apartment. So you know, I'm happy. I'm happy. Extra money was coming up to furnish the stuff that I wanted. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna move along with. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just gonna get rid of it. Like why? I have other products I want to work on and just having random stuff just isn't serving me anymore. Like in this corner here, like that. I don't have a balcony. So I don't need balcony cover, you know? And like stuff over there, you know? That's for giveaway. Now somebody wanted, they're supposed to come on Saturday, but it's just like, do I sell it now? What do I do? But I have a, a box over there. You can't see it because it's behind the um, island. But I have a box that I'm going to essentially um, get rid of stuff in there. A tote. But I'm going to go ahead and put it in the bag. I don't think I have any boxes. 
Oh, I do have something need to return to Amazon. I can do that either today or tomorrow. Oh, Alexa, what's the weather for next week like in Orlando, Florida? In Orlando, Florida, for the next seven days, Saturday, 78 degrees Fahrenheit and partly sunny weather. Sunday, 80 degrees and mostly sunny weather. Monday, 83 degrees and partly sunny weather. Tuesday, 85 degrees and partly sunny weather. Wednesday, 87 degrees and partly sunny weather. Thursday, 86 degrees and lots of clouds. Friday, 83 degrees and rainy weather. Period. Thank you. So the person that I told y'all I wasn't sure if it was a scam for the pickup, but they're outside, so I'm taking all this stuff down. The truck. I'm so happy. I literally thought that the pickup site was like a, a scam, but it's pickupplease.org and they really came and got this stuff. They came in a truck. I scheduled it only online. Like you're supposed to leave the stuff outside, but I live in an apartment. So I was like, please call me. And I told them exactly where to park. I told them where I would be coming from and they grabbed it super quick. No problem. Only two things that I did not give the guy was this shoe rack right here. It's a four tier shoe rack. And I have some dog clothes in the closet, but everything else I gave him, I'm so happy. I could have gave him his Christmas wreath, but I digress, I did my best. So that's good. I'm happy, you know, I got the stuff out of here. Sometimes peace and storage is better than trying to make a profit. You know, after a while, it's okay. It's okay to give something away. It's okay. And he gave me a little bag. I don't know what the bag say. But um, got a thank you. These would be cute. My plants, they come in earthy colors. Is it a dark brown? No, I wanna keep it airy. Go with this sour cream. I'm so sorry, pothead. Look at all its roots. Oh my gosh, wow. I'm gonna put it in this bowl. Doing something a little different today. Usually, I would be sleeping in my bed, but um, I'm going on a site visit, but not like in the DC area or the DMV area. So I don't know where I'm going. It's like, what, five something? No, it just turned 6 a.m. I got up at like 4.10, 4.10. And we had to meet up in like Foggy Bottom. Luckily, there was like a coffee place that I was able to stop at and get me something to eat because I packed my lunch, but I did not have coffee. So I didn't, I packed my lunch, but I also filled up my water bottle because my brother was empty and I'm like, ah! But I still got here like more than like 20 minutes early. I wasn't on CP time this time. ago um, and I started finishing up the loads of clothes that I have and then um, I rearranged who well, I moved my front door camera to be like over the kitchen cabinet so I get like an overview of like the door and the whole kitchen area um, and now I'm folding up some of those clothes and um, out of the clothes that I just washed <laughs> picking out things like underwear, biker shorts that I know I want to wear. Um, yeah, maybe a few t-shirts from this pile, but I also just want to make sure I fold everything up 
And so after this load, what else is next? Oh, I'm washing white clothes. No, I just did white clothes. They're in the dryer. I, I think after this load currently, I'm going to go ahead and wash my bedding um, because I do have someone staying over. Um, and I do have an air mattress, but last time I like put fresh sheets and stuff and all that good stuff. That was kind of weird, <laughs> but hey, I'm gonna give them the option. Like, hey, there's an air mattress in the, <laughs> there's an air mattress in the closet, but if not, um, I just wash my sheets and all that good stuff. Oh. I might want to know where it is. This could be uh, something in there. <sighs> okay, pack night clothes. I don't think that. <clears throat> and my, my family was like, you should lock up your work computer if you're not going to take it and stuff. And I'm like, I don't have anywhere to lock it up at. But I just remembered um, that file cap and I bought came with keys. Locked it up. And I'll just take the keys with me. So that worked out. And my room is a little bit of a mess. Like it just has random, well not a mess, but it just these boxes sitting around. And the stuff in the boxes just, it's just like, it's not necessary, you know? Like I could throw the stuff in the boxes in the trash and literally never think about it again. But I also don't know where I want to put those items like it's not that it's bad stuff it's just and when it's not something of like high value it's hard to get rid of so I don't know put those boxes in my closet so where my suitcases were in my closet I'm gonna put those random boxes um, in that spot so that'll work out nicely <sighs> packing is such a hassle and I, it's literally day of like I have to leave in five hours but um, it should be enough time to just get my life together make sure I don't forget the essentials if I'm going for seven days that means I need to pack at least 14 pairs of underwear at least right because it's hot down there in Florida, that is. And if you go to the beach or you go, you're at the amusement park all day, you come back, you go out to dinner, you know, you gotta change. Y'all, I don't know if I ever told y'all this, but I don't really like real bras. I wear sports bras or bras like this. <laughs> y'all, I don't have time for no real bras. These. If you need some support, I might put on one of these. But other than that, every day, ain't playing. I don't like all that extra stuff. Okay, let me get back to packing. Y'all be distracting me.